Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising, <clears throat> Weekly Tarot and Lenormand Reading for November 12th to November 18th, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, I... Um, as the uh, Christmas celebrations are knocking on our doors and uh, they're basically looming on the horizon here, uh, there is a Christmas sale going on, on um, with my services which is tied to the uh, 20 minute service and basically what it do is uh, as, you, um, as soon as you purchase the uh, 20 minute live readings it, uh, it gifts you as well a, a free answer, recorded answer to one question that you may have after the reading takes place. So that being said, going to the tarot reading first here, we do have the usual four card spread and the first one represents the topic of your Sagittarius this week and that is to be the Ace of Wands. So this is going to be a week of opportunities for what it seems as everybody knows that the Ace of Wands is the new beginning. But it is more than just a new beginning guys. The Ace of Wands reflects to the miraculous resolution of certain issues and through that resolution of certain issues it is how the new beginning is presented. So um, this card advises you not to give up on whatever predicaments you are facing or you were facing until this very moment and try to really resolve them as the means necessary are to be presented to you throughout this week November 12th to November 18th 2018. Not to mention that the Ace of uh, Wands points that you are likely as well to discover some slumber talents and it's not even a slumber talents here but more like talents that you had no clue you uh, you possess in general and it, it depends on you how you are to unfold those uh, talents further down the road because you may completely ignore them or you may start developing them but one is sure here with the ace of uh, wands that this is to be crazy week dappled with a lot of activities with a lot of enterprises literally there will be an opportunity for you uh, around every corner either into your career or either into your relationship as this doors uh, as this card represents doors opening everywhere you go so i advise you to just, you know, close your eyes and just go through one or through many of those doors or they are for sure to present you with first a creative chaos, which is a, a one good thing. One second. So, um, kill the sound of my phone. Uh, they are to present you with a, a good things first and with a creative chaos which is a, a good thing as well. You will have an opportunities to learn. The next card that we do have, this is the uh, core of the situation, that is the, the King of Pentacles and um, here it shows why, you know, this position shows why you are to experience the Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles is a clear sign that you have uh, how can I place it? You have developed as much as you can, whatever you are working upon this uh, at this very moment. I'm saying at this very moment. And now you need some new agendas. Now you need some new undertakings to take off. So you can, you know, you can feel yourself or find yourself amused, productive, and etc., etc. And this is what is to happen throughout the week. Now, the King of Pentacles as well point that you have done an exceptional job, you know, to cultivate, for example, uh, whatever your relationship is right now or whatever your career is right now. And uh, basically, you secured as much as you could uh, your current projects, your current relationships, your current friendships as well, etc, etc. And if you are baffled, uh, have I done the best I could? Yes, you did. And if things aren't working out, it is not because of you. This is the, um, this is the symbolism of this card. Uh, it is not because of you, so that's why uh, if 
really things aren't working out in a certain field of your life it will be beneficial here to just you know um, just leave those um, those fields for now and focus yourself upon the new enterprises which the life presents to you like for example a new offer for a job you know a new sweater to date with a new friend to hang uh, to hang out with or a, a new hobby that is also a possibility here that is going to occupy your time i mean the manifestations are with numerous varieties and the next card here is showing the uh, challenges which are to cause predicaments we do have the ace of cups and the ace of cups uh, kind of like disappoints me falling into that specific place because it points that these um uh, that the, these opportunities are not going to be a, a coincidence. They aren't going to be a, a gift, all right? You have to work for them. And uh, you already did, as a matter of fact, here with the King of Pentacles. But uh, what is the importance is to realize that uh, they will require nurturing because the Ace of Cups falling into a negative position instantly blocks the... Uh, 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 the uh, you, you don't have to wait to uh, finish my sentence here instantly blocks the uh, positive unfoldment on its own accord all right so uh, you need to continue on pushing it and continue on developing it if you want the uh, outcome to be positive if you want the outcome to be joyful for you and the outcome to really worth it because the ace of cups here points that um, the happy circumstances the happy coincidences and etc etc are going to be uh, kind of like deprived in this particular week so you can't you can't rely that the luck is going to save you in a certain situations you can't rely that things are going to solve themselves miraculously here out of nowhere on their own accord what you need to do is really roll up your sleeves and start working you know exert those uh talents that you haven't uh, that you haven't incorporated until this very moment you know have the courage to take on this uh, to take on this opportunity for example because it's it's going to be presented to you only one time seeing these cards and if you don't take it if you even hesitate for a moment then it will be valid no longer so that's why you have to be very aware of what you truly want and how you want to develop from now on business wise career wise you know and and relationship wise as well because these cards here are pointing that you have reached a certain state where <clears throat> You know, as I said, you did as, be as best as you could uh, in your current undertakings. And now it's time, as there is nothing much for you left to do there, to uh, to focus more upon new amusing uh, enterprises. But those enterprises need to be worked over. They aren't going to, as I said, unfold on their own accord. Well, they will, but then they, uh, it is likely that you are not going to like the results of that scene here with the Ace of Cups. In a more superficial level, this card points that you are, even though these... Um, opportunities these doors which are opening for you are, are kind of like very lucrative should i say or very uh, passionate as well you are finding very hard to enjoy them for one or another reason in these cards the reason is not presented unless it's not that you know that you did what you could and still you are feeling poignant about the situation that it is around you and in that case you need to break ties with it i mean you you have to resign about what it is and just move move on from there and the last card that we do have this is the guidance that you should uh, follow or the guidance that Saru is offering to you that is the high priestess and the guidance here is, is that you are moving into uh, should I say the right direction or the direction that your soul is pushing you toward so it could be as well accepted to the right direction so whatever you have the affinity to this is the thing that you should try to develop this is the thing that you should try to manifest here uh, for example, if you are feeling if you are feeling attracted to a certain person, aim to spend more time with them, and then opportunity will present itself to you. Even though may not be in the most uh, pleasant circumstances, and may not uh, and it will not present itself on its own accord. But you have to work for it as well if you feel attracted to a certain project try to incorporate yourself in it you as well have to work for your incorporation in there 
but if you do so eventually it's going to happen and etc etc basically follow your inner guidance follow your inner voice follow your soul this is what that card points and uh, with that being said you should not allow anybody to give you an example here like following someone else's steps this week for you Sagittarius you have to follow your own steps all right you are making the history here you are not repeating someone else's one so that was the uh, tarot reading and now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and they are to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid so one second to shuffle them really good here and uh, let's see what we got now so the first one that is the tower and the tower speak for uh, isolation seclusion government institution and as well a, a business uh, then what we do have is the child the child speak, speaks for innocence it speaks for petite as well and it stands for a child and the last one that is going to be the dog and the dog stands for loyalty it stands for faithful companion as well so uh, this could be if you are aiming to adopt a child well you are to find the one for you throughout this week here all right and this perfectly fits with these cards you know you did the best you could to have a child and you can't you know that whatever you do with the current you know with the current strategy isn't working out so you're trying alternative ways you research the uh, child adopting facilities you know it's not going to happen on its own accord again you have to research it you have to work for it and you are to find the best candidate throughout this week or alternatively this could be a, um, a small business gesture for a friend of yours that is make your uh, it is making your uh, business development easier than uh, than it is at this specific moment which in uh, from its side it kind of clears up a little bit more uh, free time so you can amuse yourself with additional uh, hobbies and with additional uh, let's say um, entertainments right but you need to ask it and you need to work for it I mean these additional entertainments they are not gonna entertain you on its own accord so basically uh, that being said guys this was your uh, weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November uh, 12th to November 18 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a, a general reading for uh sagittarius star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore i did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you i um this is a uh subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below there in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and don't forget about the uh, Christmas sale that being said Rod signing out now see you next time bye